All you homeowners who may be looking to sell, listen up. We found the absolute best day to list your home. Diana Olick joining us now with more on this and some other cool real estate stories. When is, Diana, the best day? Well, Brian, drum roll. If you want to sell your house, you have about 12 more hours. Or you have to wait until next Thursday. Am I kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Apparently, if you list your house on a Thursday, it will sell faster than if you list on any other day of the week. And that is at least according to Redfin, which ran a whole bunch of numbers on it. And why? Well, here are some thoughts. Our market is programmed to look at houses Thursday and to plan their weekends out. Thursday, because I feel like that gives people that are at work looking online for homes enough time to look at the pictures, plan their open houses, and what tours they want to visit over the weekend. In this competitive market, most of the agents are sort of abiding by the Thursday, Friday, and then taking offers um, on Tuesday. Now, Redfin also claims that if you list the house, like this lovely one in Bethesda, Maryland, on a Wednesday, you can actually get slightly more money for it. Now, most agents I spoke to did not buy that. As long as you've debuted correctly and you give it full market exposure, which means a couple days of the weekend, that's how you get the most money. Jennifer thinks it's not just the day, but the time, if you can believe it. Don't list it on a Thursday morning when everyone else does, or you'll end up on page two or three of the website, and so you got to list it in the evening, like 5 o'clock, so you're at the top, because most people will start searching Thursday after work, so be at the top, 5 o'clock. Okay, Brian, do that. That is literally news you can use to sell your home. Are there any other theories out there? We always hear about the spring selling season. Any other theories about when the best time to sell a home is? I mean, I, every person you talk to has a different theory. You had the time of day. You had the day of the week. One agent I spoke to said she believes you should sell your house in the dead of winter, that is December or January, because even though spring is a lot busier, there's a lot more homes on the market, you have less competition among sellers in the dead of winter, and the buyers who are out there are a lot more serious because who would want to go out house hunting in December and January? So if you're house hunting, it means that there's a very specific reason that you have to move. And so the first thing you find, you're probably going to want to buy, and even if you have to pay a little more to get it you're going to do it so dead of winter theory dead of winter theory okay the other thing i see i still it seems anecdotally there are fewer and fewer open house signs and balloons and things like that going on is the open house dying well it's kind of like retail you know it's going online there are so many virtual animated tours we showed you once a tour of a robot taking you through a house and you can ask questions online you can have live people online and you have a lot of international buyers who never actually even see or walk into the house before they buy it so you know a lot of agents are telling me look especially in this very very hot market right now they're getting offers sight unseen and when i say sight unseen that's physically sight unseen. They've seen it online. They've gone through the pictures. They've gone through the virtual tour. Some are even the way you can guide them yourself with the mouse and go into different rooms. And they just don't feel the need because they have offers by the time they get to Saturday. Why Is that do the something we need, Diana, Sunday? to worry about? The fact that people are buying homes without actually setting foot in them. Remember when that happened the last time? We had this thing called the financial crisis. There was a small mortgage issue on that one. This one, we don't have quite the mortgage issue. So if you see the house, look, a lot of Chinese buyers, a lot of international buyers, a lot of buyers who might be in California buying in New York or something, they look online and they see what they want. They study the area. There's so much information on real estate online right now that unless you really want to go in, I do believe in the smell test, though. And maybe some startup company wants to put that online, but I don't want to buy a house that I have not seen if there's a cat, if there's a smoker, if there's something that smells What about a cat that house. smokes? You would definitely not buy that <laughs> you know, home. No, you've always got a theory, too. There you go. Diana Ola, good to see you this morning. Practical news you can use. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.